I understand that these decisions will not be easy and many difficult decisions lie ahead. But we've entered this crisis with some budget tools to manage. It's the story of a virus that ate a surplus and more. The same folks who forecast a $1.5 billion surplus in February now see a $2.4 billion deficit for the current cycle. Why? Tax revenues dropped $3.6 billion at the same time that state spending is rising $391 million for net change of $4 billion since February. A deep plunge this year, followed by growth next year, but never reaching the path that we had been on. The culprit? The slumping economy, with the gross domestic product set to sharply drop, and at the same time, spending on subsidized health care and public assistance to families is going up. And unlike Uncle Sam, Minnesota can't have an actual deficit. The balance can't fall below zero when the current two-year cycle ends in June of 2021. There's going to be shared sacrifice because at this point in time, uh, the COVID-19, as, as some have said, is not the great equalizer. It exposes uh, inequities. Now, one of the nice things for Minnesota, at least, is that this state has a two and a half billion dollar rainy day savings fund or budget reserve. But uh, lawmakers and the governor are not going to want to spend that whole thing just to wipe out this projected deficit. So you should expect to see spending cuts. You may see layoffs at state employees. You're going to see a lot of effort going on, of course, and more appeals to the federal government, Uncle Sam, for more federal dollars because Uncle Sam can deficit spend. Back to you. All right, John, more to come. Thank you.